Welcome back to Daily Flash. I am Mitch English along with Raisa Pascal and Andrea Jackson. Now listen, worldwide, the United States is known as the land of the free, home of the brave, and single. Yeah, get this. The National Center for Marriage and Family Research says that over the last 50 years, the marriage rate has dropped by 60%. Now, why are people saying no? Is it feminism? Are women afraid to be submissive to men? Is that what they're thinking? Or is everyone just cool with just shacking up? Joining us now to talk about this is licensed clinical social worker and certified sex therapist, Deborah Fox. Deborah, I said we we're going to have you back on the show. We're excited about this because last time you were on, we had so much of uh, feedback from it. I think we're going to get the same today. What do you think uh, is really behind the downfall of marriage here in the United States? Well, I think people have lost some confidence in the institution. And so they're trying some other things. They're trying delaying getting marriage, which I'm actually all in favor of. If people are staying in long relationships to make sure it's the right one. Uh, people are experiencing, experimenting with different relationship models to see really what works for them. You know, some men are saying that feminism and even the courts are the reason people are just saying no to marriage. When I say courts is because if there's a divorce, it always, in their eyes, it favors women first. Could that actually be the blame or a part of it? Um, I, I actually, it's so interesting to me that feminism is still a thing, you know, that it hasn't become part of just our mainstream way of, right. of thinking in terms of, you know, it's been around now for a very long time. <laughs> and it shows us how slow we are to really incorporate these changes, you know, in our culture. Uh, I would not say that women are afraid to be submissive to men. I would say they probably don't want to be. I mean, who wants to be submissive to anybody else, regardless, you know, of who you are or what the, exactly. what the history is? Um, so I don't think that's it. Um, I do think that, um, you know, first of all, I'm not so sure courts favor women. They do favor the the partner who is not uh, have a W two income. Okay. Okay. Um, so that'd be worth some research. One hundred percent. And I appreciate how, uh, how you, the way you're explaining that because it is true. Do you think it's down to roles? Is that that we're coming into an age of where we're like uh, when I say submissive, I should preface all that. When we're talking about submissive, we we really are we talking about the role meaning well all right i'm gonna get married and i'm gonna stay home that's kind of pushed away and now we're, we're actually becoming more equal between the two we have a long way to go by all means but do you think those men are afraid of like wow i'm losing something that i can be really responsible for is it a fear more than anything well why do you think that men would actually even think that you know i think a lot of this is fear you know when we go through cultural change and upheaval we get fearful that's just kind of yeah. human nature and things were defined some time ago and i think finding your way in a new paradigm is complicated i mean look at the college rates of uh um, graduation you know are strongly favoring women at this point and i really feel for men you know it's like they're just supposed to somehow know what to do differently <laughs> it's complicated and it's a lot in my mind is not so much the role but it's about how do you deal with conflict resolution how do you deal yes. with these changing roles how do you communicate about that that's what's to yeah. me super super important and i think with men we're even we're evil we're able rather to do that with other men but we're talking about our, our spouse or somebody that we're going to be with our significant other if you will and so we have to learn that very very good point there let's talk about some of these numbers it says uh, hispanic and black women are seeing actually a, a significant drop in marriage black women seeing a 60 percent drop what's behind those numbers do you feel truth be told I don't know, you know, about those specific groups of people. I think some of the things I've already said certainly will prevail, mm -hmm. but I haven't really looked into those specific groups okay. of women. Well, let's talk about some uh, that I'm seeing, and uh, actually women are actually waiting to get married for the first time till they're older, around 40 to 59 years old. Uh, are these couples made up of, I don't wanna call them, but the leftovers of society, or is it just like, hey, I, I'm gonna wait until I get what I want? I don't think they're the leftovers. Okay. I think there's a lot more choice that women are having than they certainly had decades ago. Um, there are so many women in the C-suites. You know, those jobs really don't lend themselves wonderfully to marriage and family. 
And so I think women are, you know, pursuing their passions and often those are in the workplace. And that has at least something to do with the, uh, the delay in marriage. And I think also they are looking for what do they want? You know, do they really have the right person? They don't have to get married anymore as once once true. And so they, in having that choice, they can afford to say, you know, I really want to find that special person that is going to work for me. I don't want to be my parents. I don't want to be another divorce statistic. There you go. And I think, you know, there are men that we've, we've had that those thoughts for a long time. I think it's now the equal comes to that, the equal way of thinking. I thank you so much for your time. And if you need advice, of course, from a, 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 somebody that knows a lot about it, a dating expert, you can go to plainandsimpledebfox.com and get more information. We'll have that link on our website. Deborah, we always appreciate you joining us here on the show with your insights. we got more Daily My Flash coming up, coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>